little Canada, so tiny and so small. Camille, we are here in Canada, but the miniature version. Tell me what Little Canada is. So Little Canada is a journey through the sights and sounds of Canada, but in much, much smaller scale. Although you guys are little here, you have five big values. What are those? So our five big values are we, we create to amaze, we are family, we're naturally curious, we're serious about fun, and we're better together. So not only is it really fun to look at, but there are some fun adventures that we can do when visiting here as well. Can you tell us about those? Yes, exactly. So one of them is our Maurice scavenger hunt. So Maurice the Moose is our little mascot at Little Canada. And there's about 20 of him um, hidden within the dis di different destinations in Little Canada. And there's one actually that's just right over there hiding behind the Aspen uh, Missile Tower. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to have to find them all over this space. Mark, your title is Leader of the Physical World. What does that mean and what is your role at Little Canada? Yeah, so the physical world is one of the big areas of the destinations. We basically deal with anything that's large, large structures, large terrain elements like Mount St. Anne over here. So um, as the leader of the physical world, I lead a team of seven and we basically design and build these kind of larger elements of the destinations. So you're telling me seven people put this entire space together? No, there's much more than seven people, but just the physical world aspect of it currently is seven people, yeah. Got it. So you have a huge team of mechatronic specialists, animations, and even people who have worked on the little sculptures that have put this entire space together. How many people have worked on this project and how many hours did this take you? Yeah, so we've had you know, fluctuating numbers over the years of how many people are on the build side of things. Currently, there's about 30 builders within uh, our team. And for how many hours, it's tough to say. We've been working on it for almost eight years now. So I would guess probably somewhere in the 300,000 hour range. Yeah. That is a lot of it's time. It's crazy. But obviously, it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. It is absolutely beautiful Yeah, in here. and many more hours to come. just said many more hours to come, meaning you have a lot of future destinations. Right now you have five. What are some of the future destinations you're working on? Yeah, so we have six large kind of complete destinations still ready to build. Those are uh, Petit Montreal, Little East Coast, Little Prairies, Little Rockies, Little West Coast, and the Little North. So we want to encapsulate kind of all of Canada within one space. So we're kind of getting the coast as well as the north. Uh, and then we also have some of the, uh, some small areas that we're working on as well. So we're working on an extension to Toronto that's gonna include our home here at Tundundas and have a miniature of Little Canada. And then as well as an extension to Ottawa that we're gonna include um, the Gatineau Midway and Balloon Festival. There are some really cool facts about Little Canada, including the fact that there are like 300 mini cars zipping around this space. What other facts can you share with us? Yeah, it's just kind of staggering the sheer number of trees and people that we use as well. Uh, in terms of people, the little figures, we have about 8,000 figures seated within the Rogers Center as the fans that are there. And then in trees, looking at just this Mount St. Anne in Quebec here, there's over 3,000 trees just in this section alone. So it's like crazy how many trees and, and people that we have within the world. So you said you spent eight years putting this project together. What has been your favorite part about the eight years? For me personally, it's probably the Ottawa Parliament buildings. So me and a few coworkers, we built that together. It was one of kind of the largest thing that I had designed at the time. So it was just kind of fun to like get into this huge building that a lot of people are very aware of. And it's cool to have people come in and, and the reactions to saying, oh, that's Parliament, I've been to that building. It's what we do this for. Like all this is for is just so guests can come in and get to enjoy the space. So when they come in here and have a good time and you know, it's the wow of everything, and you know, it really means that we're doing a good job. station is a 3D scanning booth. Um, there's about 128 cameras installed within, so when a guest steps inside, 
all these cameras simultaneously take a photo. The guest then gets 3D printed into a three quarter inch little me that they can place into the world in one of the destinations of their choice. That is so cool. So essentially you're saying I can clone myself and put myself in a miniature space. Yeah, you can basically live here forever. That in is little Canada. amazing. What do you say we go clone myself and uh, place myself a little bit yeah, later? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. We are now here at the Littleization Station and I'm ready to make a little me. Camille, I'm about to step foot into here. How does this work and how long does it take? So this is our Littleization Station. Um, the second you walk inside, Emily will prepare you and the cameras will take an instant photo of you. Then once the photo's taken, your pictures will pop up on that screen over there and you get to choose between two options, between two of the poses that you decided to do. And one, two, three. Awesome, two poses to choose from. Now that I've been scanned at the Littleization Station, we found a place to put myself right in downtown Toronto, but we have a little surprise for you. You might need to take a closer look though.